Hello peeps, I'm 30 and welcome to episode 10 of Imperator Rome playing as the Republic of Rome. Um, in the last episode we did some con slight conquering here in Cisalpin Gaul. We also finished up the mission and which basically meant um, building up things in Roma especially. That was mainly the thing we were focusing on. Uh, I need to do something about population in Rome. It's too high. I need to... I don't... Please, if you can tell me a way to basically decrease the population. Uh, like the normal way you would do to just decrease the population in cities. Because before it becomes too big, I would like to know how that is made. How, how you do that. I would like that. So I wouldn't mind, guys. What we... What we... Bleh, I can speak, I promise. What we want to do right now is we're going to go for some extra Cisalpine Gaul conquering, but we also want to take Sicily by attacking those people. I don't think we have a CB on them though, that's the thing. We do not. So if I go for a CB on you, do I have a CB on you then? Because you are allied. We have. You're allied to Heraclea Minoa, which is not this guy. It's this guy. This is a revolt. And this guy. I see. So they have this revolt war going on. I would like this civil war to end before we proceed. I think this guy will win because he has his superior forces. But I have time. I can. I can wait. It's. It's fine. Scandal draws to close. Yeah, this guy was sleeping with slaves and stuff. I think. The investigation into the accusations against Septimus Fabius can finally be brought to close and has established his innocence in the matter of certification of the court. There are many concerned parties and witnesses that have largely been dismissed as disruptive slanderers seeking to undermine the reputation of an important member of society for their own nefarious aims. That doesn't really seem that... It doesn't seem what I would think would be the case in this, in this, in this specific period. I would think he was actually guilty, but okay. While there may be some, may be some backlash over the seriousness with which the trial was conducted, we have at least state of mayor crisis among which the slaves will, while protecting our interests, we lose popularity. And the Fabi loses prestige, I gain money, and I lose slave happiness for 10 years. That's not great. And we have a disloyal character. There's no risk of civil war though. The Magnagration guy is not happy. I could potentially bribe him, but I don't want to. I don't want to. He's not strong enough to create a civil war. So it's, I think it's okay. We can afford an innovation. I think the reason I haven't gone for this is because I don't need it. Which one would I like? Potentially movement speed. Hmm. This one could be very good. So, as foreign religious beliefs grow within our ever-expanding borders, so too does the disquiet of the practitioners. Adopting and incorporating minor practices into our own belief system is the first step to establishing concord. We're trying to make people happier, because we have a lot of issues with people being the wrong culture. It's awe. Uh, some people being the wrong culture. Like, most people are part of the Latin culture of the people I control, but I have like these Greek, these are actually Lurian people, not Greek. Interesting. And we have some hella, basically Greek people as well as the Lurian people. Interesting. I need to learn how to use the, short, the shortcuts, the hotkeys a bit better. Usually the thing I want to go for. You can have salt, it's fine. Um, How's the mission going? I'm going for a specific mission with the Italic Furtarius diplomacy thing. On the 30th of March, the Italics of Gallia. We have dispatched envoys to the Italic tribes of the, of the Cisalpine Gaul to ascertain their worthiness. It has become clear the most deserving is Veneto. Isn't he like the strongest guy? We could simply offer them an alliance, and or we could be slightly more assertive in the man to become closer allies than we might like to contemplate. 
I could spend... We are much more powerful than they are. So I could do this and just make Veneto my friend. I forced them to be my friend. And I am. And he said yes. So he's a tribal state to us, basically. A scientific breakthrough. One of our researchers, Drusus Cornelius Arvina, thinks he's just about to make a notable scientific breakthrough in the research he's currently working on. All that is needed is some more supplies and funds for the next couple of years. To be able to get his hands on some of these, he has personally asked our council, Gaius Junius Marius, if he can be given access to them. The rest of our researchers will certainly suffer if we were to make this move, but maybe it's worth it over after all. Nah. I don't want to. How strong are you? You're strong. So you're my... I'm your overlord. I really wish like an EU4 you could just eat them up. You can. You can integrate them. I see. I, I, I knew that was the case. So is it possible to like integrate those other people? Wait, stop. I'm your overlord. Where is the integration thing? Uh... I look at Veneto. Where did I see that? It's influence. I need them to be feudatory. So, influence. We don't have it here. Because they're not my feudatory. They're tributary. It's not the same thing. How could I make them my feudatory? I would like to know how that's possible. If you look at anyone else, or anyone my feudatory. No. They aren't. Okay, I could integrate those guys. Um, but I need them to have a greater opinion of me. I have a lot of opinion of them, but they don't have a lot of opinion of me. They're very weak. They have a lot of money. I need them to like me. How can I make them like me? Relations. I could try and improve opinion. I will improve it as much as possible. That would probably put us at 1 and 50. How much did I need? I needed... I can't see it right now because my diplomat is currently arriving. But I'm going to do Interpathos Valley right now. So the Pallas River flows down from the Alps and into the Adriatic, making the land fertile and populous. It is time we appropriated these lands and secured the river as a frontier. The Gauls have been pushed even further from the boundary of Italia, and with a small natural boundary at the river Padus, we now have a secure position from which to stage future incursions into Gaul. Let's look at my phone for a second. With newly conquered territory comes the inventable parcelling of land and distribution of promises. Where do I want? Um, we look at these cities in Amelia. Boninia is this place. It's it's not close to river. Spina is this place. It's close to the river and it's close to the sea. And then we have Parma, which is where? Where's Parma? It's up here. It's close to river. Two rivers even. But I think I would prefer Spina. They have fish. Yeah, we should go for Spina. Make it a colonia. So how's the missions looking for now? What do we need to go for those things? I need Valis Arni and Liguria. Where's Valis Arni? This place. I own everything in Valis Arni, but I don't own all of Liguria. That's the reason I can't go for this thing. Befriend the Gallic tribes. What 
Okay, I can't do anything about that. Currently, Veneto is my friend. Pardon. I was a bit sleepy. I have been drinking a lot of alcohol for the last few... the last time. Because how's this thing going? Can you solve this bloody infighting thing, please? You can't sit him down. That's the reason. Okay, I see it. I un I understand. My my voice broke there. I think you can notice the fact that my voice broke. <coughs> Pardon. I probably need to drink some water, but I don't have any water currently at my desk, and that's the issue. Election. We will have a new. We would lose. Gaius Eunice Marius being the council. That's bad. I like him. And he's a historical figure as well. Yeah. Would I mind this thing? I don't know. That's basically going towards the... Uh, the, uh, the Empire. Already, it's too early to go for the empire. Like the the Roman Republic was was very big before it became an empire. Most of the conquest of the of like the Roman Empire came during the basically the the Republican era. Today's tribes are much changed from strict geographical ge geographic constitu constituencies of the past. Now consistent of a vertical slice of citizens from every one of the provinces. Although there are only four tribes within the city of Rome itself, the rural tribes are a valuable source of political legitimacy and play an important role in organizing the bureaucracy of the state, from electing local magistrates to passing motions by the tribunes of the plebs. Rome has grown far beyond the borders of Latium, and with the large increase in population there are again calls to instate more tribes for the Republic. In response, the Senate is debating the commission of two further tribes to be named Corina and Velina, respectively. Yeah, sure. Expand the tribes, I guess. I think it's fine. I just want this thing to be over with. I could try and... Uh, fabricate a claim on these rebels. They might happen in a while. Unpopular council. They don't like me. Why am I not a liked man? Never want to challenge the status quo. Oh, we have a new one. Appius Claudius Pulcher. Or even do anything remotely considered interesting. Appius Claudius Pulcher has been elected council by a slim majority of dollar buffoons in wine stained togas. <laughs> It would be fair to say, perhaps, that Appius does not hold the confidence of the people in the same manner as the Stoic rulers of old, for example, Marius. That's bad. That's only two years, though. It's only two years. It's okay. He's... He's decent. He could be better. He could be worse. I could pay for some stability. Yeah, I want to. And one family, the Claudii family, are unhappy. Not for this position, preferably. Researcher, though. It's the same thing. It's even worse when it comes to researcher. So you should go for this one, and I put the Claudii guy on the censor job. The Republic's chief magistrate with responsibility over the state census, public morality, and clerical blockages in Senate and courts. I see. Cosus Claudius Kento. It's now your job. Go away. Hmm. There's nothing I want to do. I think. I want to get some 
Kaz's bellies on people so I can kill them. What I want to do first is try and kill those people. And I have the superior navy, so I'm just going to move my navy towards this place. So it's slightly closer so I can use it in this naval warfare. Macedon. 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 However you pronounce it, they are still under phrase. And they have a lot of power, especially together. I still wonder, like, how this happened. How did Trace get the, like, the overload ship of Macedonia? Like, seriously, like, how did that happen? You want rain for Secular, you won't get any rain. Is there anything I want here? I can see this thing, I promise. Provincial loyalty wouldn't be a bad thing. I will really like that. Reduce governorship. With some control over provinces, centralized or locals are sure to grow more loyal to the nation as a whole. I want to put, I want to pay for that because I have some issues with loyalty. I guess I have to pay for giving this guy this job because he sucks at it. That's amazing. I want to. I don't want to trade with you because I'm going to kill you. I don't have any CB on you. Because you're my friend. Like, how long will this take? 23. It's currently the year... 514. Then I could potentially integrate those guys. I would like to integrate them. Peacefully. If possible. They are not Hellenic. It seems like. They're more Druidic. But the Hellenic is very spread out. It seems like as well. Hmm. That's like the question, like, what should I do? Heraclean Civil War finally ends. Thank you. I do care about that because I want to kill them. I want to put you in the fortress. And I want to give you a commander. A loyal one. You are the governor. He's a he's not that popular. I could try and make him more popular if possible. Thank you. You gave me some stability back. I wanna just go in and kill this guy. If possible, so you are already loyal to this guy, and some of you have loyal to Marius. They only have a lot of light cab. I have a lot of not light cab. I'm going to declare war on you. Those people are going to join. Nobody wants. Because you're no longer allied. Are you serious? I guess I have to. I'm already trying to fabricate. Okay, it, it, it actually happens. Could I get to like a... Would you allow me to... Get some military access? I think this means they would say yes, right? Yeah, they said yes. Great. Meaning I could go in and kill you and take you and this guy down. I, the bony doesn't really like when I fight. They hate it. They really do. So the next thing I want to go for is probably just kill this guy. As soon as I have the CB on it. So I'm going to blockade them inside on their island. They can't move from here because I'm going to blockade them. That's the army of them. It's not a strong one. But I have superior navy. So I won't even need a commander of the navy because I have a superior one. I don't want you to have a commander. I just want to remove him for now. And I want you to get the sign to region. You can have marble from Anatolia, but you can't any have anything from Latium. Well, I siege this place down. 
touched by Mercury. We can gain some money or spend some money. I guess I'm going to spend the money because it seems reasonable. Enough to do. This is going to be done very soon. We can attack them as soon as this war is over with. Let the looting be gentle. And then you go and kill this last dude. Why are you gaining this attrition? Ah, the stormy seas. Okay, I see. Get into the navy before you die. Okay, you, you're being stupid, guys. You know that, right? You won't win that one. Oh, they will. Great. I wonder if they can siege this back. I don't know. It's a level 2 fort. They might not be able to. They apparently don't even care about it. Seems a bit stupid. And those people are not strong enough to siege this down. Without my help. This, the stormy seas are... The Council of Potania have taken it upon themselves to free a sizable quantity of privately owned slaves. Okay. I don't know the full freedom, I guess, but I don't know the consequences of doing that. It could be very bad. I, I feel like that could be extremely bad. Leave my food alone, please. That's not what I want you to take. I want you to leave my food alone. Especially the food of my capital province itself. That's obviously not what I want them to take. When I switch this place down. This is getting the coming of the city of Spina. Spina is now a city. Meaning I can finally build some things here and hopefully try and make this province more stabilized. I want to build something like the tax office. I want to build the... Potentially the marketplace. Maybe not. Rather, I would like to build... How's the... I probably would have some religious problems. Do it that way. Well, I finish the siege, then I go for the other people in this area here. I'm going, to, I'm going to own the entire island myself. That's basically what I'm going for. You done, please? Let the looting be gentle. Why do I not have 100%? What do they still own? Can I see that somewhere? What do you own? Why do I not have 100%? You would think I would get 100% from like fully occupying them, but that's apparently not the case. I would like to know why. Can I take them down? Like take everything they own? Yes, I can. Meaning I'm done. And then you move here, and I'm going to move on these other people. And I'm going to siege them down. That's a lot of mercs. That's a shit ton of mercs. It surely is. Okay, how, how are you feeling? I don't want a fortress on this island. I just want to remove it and preferably build something better than a fortress. That seems like a waste of resources. Um, happiness wouldn't be a bad thing. Cast a deify ruler. I don't even know how you do that because I have, a, I have councils. I have the republic thing happening. Democracy. 
meaning it's not really possible. Uh, I get some happiness. Used by merchants and inventors alike, the Abacus provided a means of quickly tallying costs and expenditures, making domestic, domestic trading a much more palatable affair. There's a lot of a lot of words sized I can't really grasp. In all honesty, they're finishing a lot of settlements and things. Do you want them to do I prefer to kill them? No, probably not. Are you serious? Ha oh Cottage? Why? Why do you even bother? Leave me alone. Bloody hell cottage. I wanna go and fight with cottage right now. You should sit down, have pick easy. Because this won't happen right now. And I want to remove the commander. And I want to use the sign it region. Because I won't be doing that for a while. And I want to focus on these areas. How do I get this thing? I need Liguria. Meaning I need to go for this thing those two guys and I need to go for that guy who are you ally to no one I want to have a claim on you for Liguria and I also want to claim on this other guy for Liguria yeah we don't have oops that's a big bloody defensive league can I declare war of you how many people do you have you have one court one, five, eleven, thirteen, sixteen, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-nine, and thirty-one. I could beat them if I had in the entirety of my army itself. I'm still going to fabricate a claim on you. And I do have this ally, of course. I, I, don't, I don't, I shouldn't forget about having that ally. Veneto is, is he's strong. He is a strong guy. He has 17 cohorts and a big navy. So he could potentially help us in the in the end. I feel like. So how's the family going? We are loving benefactor, lazy, dumb, altruist, diphtheria, and mentality. You gonna die, mate? I'm just telling you, that guy is going to die. Go away. You would think he would die at least. Right? There's a lot of things that won't keep you alive. In the end. So you... Yeah, Marius became a disloyal guy. I would like Marius to be my, gov my counsel again. Actually, I really would like that. But he's not. And that makes me sad. It really does make me a bit sad. In all honesty, it makes me extremely sad. Bloody hell, Marius. Okay, what can I do? Do I need some alliances? I don't think I need to. Because the system in Gaul lost its governor. I need another one. Do I want a special one? Anyone with high statementships and a high... That local tax is not nice. He's not great, but he, he's not the worst either. This guy has nothing. I go for him. Because we will have the civil war breaking out. Is that like the guy I used to point at? Can I bribe you? It wouldn't be enough. How will I deal with this thing? Very low chance. What would this thing do? Would it make his power base go down? Commanded cohorts. Where is this guy? Magna Gratia. That's him. 
And because he's disloyal, that's a bad thing. Stupid shit. I'm going to bribe him. And I'm going to give him free hands. Just to stop this civil war thing from happening. Which is bad, but I I guess I had to. And I'm going to basically take this away from him. I don't, I don't want him to keep this. I want to move those guys. If possible from... I can see like those provinces. Like Magna Gratia. That's not a one I want. I don't know. I'm going to keep them down here though. Because they could supply them, so it's fine. While well, we can afford another invention, which one would I like? That's the question. Someone with loyalty, potentially? Monthly work session. No, thank you. Inspired disloyalty cost. No, thank you. Build cost could be a good one. Go away. I want, I'm not going to fight against strong people right now. So I prefer to want something else. Like money, for example. Commerce. Because I'm not going to fight people that are stronger than me currently. I'm going to fight some weak guys like this guy. And he has no alliances with strong... At all. Especially not with strong people. So this tribe is going to die. Didn't really change anything. My coast council has apparently has a very low seal. He does. He's not very popular either. You you suck, man. Probably because he's arbitrary and corrupt. And he's corrupt and he's honest about it. At the same time, like why? Building bridges. Well, there's always a certain degree of toying and frowing between the incumbent leaders of Rome. Consul Appius Claudius Pulcher and his co council causes Cornelius Arvina of the screen more and more. Until now, the topics have been fairly minor and had little effect on the state. But the rulers' differences are now threatening to spill out into the public sphere. Sphere. Whether it's as a result of personal amnesty or mulish stubbornness, Causes has been organizing opposition to ambitious public works bill promised in the election campaign of Appius a matter close to his heart. The proposed legislation would authorize the construction of an aqueduct system serving the provincial hub of Nanturia in Tarentum, encouraging further growth and prosperity for years to come by ensuring the sanitation system and water supply are well maintained. Maintained. I could bribe the honest guy. Because I'm a corrupted guy, I can do this. He must want something. But what would this guy potentially want? He's a corrupted man. He's generous but arbitrary. He doesn't really care about the rules. And he's not and he's corrupted. The combination of being corrupted and not caring about the rule, it seems like a very bad thing. Hmm. The bill, this bill will be passed. I think that's the reasonable thing to go for. But I'm just going to cut the video for a short second because I need some water. There we go. I have some water now. I'm very sore. My, I'm very like dry in my throat. I I tested negative for Corona, so I don't ha that's not the reason. But I spent the last four hours with my, with my friends on Zoom, basically drinking alcohol and talking shit. So that, that might have a reason why I need some water. I'm feeling a bit drunk to be honest and I'm feeling a bit rich as well progress in the Senate following a few days of particularly grueling debates in the Senate the exact lay of the political landscape has been determined and it seems Consul Appius will be able to pass his bill by calling in some old favors acquired over his political career co-consul causes is understandably wexed at such a political gamemanship and attempting to have the passage blockaded on any grounds possible. Going forward without good faith is sure to undermine the delicate balance of power in Rome, a risk that might not be worth taking when co-consul causes could be, pers per be persuaded to call off the dogs in return for a few promises. I lose 10 stability. 
I can spend the money for that. I can promise him some funds. The Claudian Bats of Mentoria. Consul Appius and his ambitious civic projects have finally triumphed over the pretty, petty political squabbles of the Senate. Already a vast number of workmen have been directed to the promise of Tarentum to begin the erection of an aqueduct and reservoir serving the city of Manturia and its planned, its planned lavish bathhouse and public fountains. Needless to say, both the, the local administration and province population are extremely grateful and honored to be the recipient of these works, and the Claudian baths are sure to make an impression on all who visit them. These works will not be forgotten. forgotten. I see. I think that was worth it in the end. It was also worth it just waiting for those claims to arrive. Optimus Agenda land for Gaius Junius Marius. He can have it. I would prefer that guy to be my next council, truth be told. Um, he's apparently not going to be the one though. It's going to be Septimus Fabius. I remember that guy. He's the corrupt guy. Scipio is dead. Interesting. And he was my tribune of the plebs. Basically the tribune of the people. If you don't know the Roman political system. You can have papy papyrus and you do, you're not going to get that food. I, I do want to spend this on something. I could get another import food for my cattle. That's potentially something I want to go for. Yes, I do. Maritime patrols. Piracy was a huge issue in the Mediterranean until the eradication of the Sicilian pirates by Pompeii in 66 BC. A strong maritime presence was required to safeguard civilian and military vessels. Thank you. So we go to Latium and we go for an extra import of something. What do I want? I want to make my slaves happier, potentially. Like, what can we do for them? Doesn't really seem like there's a lot I could do. I have some stone. It's decreasing the build cost in the capital would not be a bad thing. I feel like. So I think that's fine. My stability is going down because I have such a bad co council. That's basically the reason why. When it comes to his seal. Basically costing all of us when it comes to everything. You can move up here because you have the food. So you're closer where, to uh, where I want you to be. I lost another researcher. And I, no, I lost my tribune of the military. And I can make guys a junior's Marius. He's not that loyal, but he's the best one I got. He's a popular man. I like Marius. I do like him. So I want to make sure he's empowered of things. We have a claim on those people now, meaning I can finally go and kill them. They can't use the navy except on this guy, and I'm not going to attack him because he's part of the defensive league. And he's also in an alliance with Massilia, but it doesn't really matter because Massilia is in part of the defensive league as well. But the, those people are not part... We have a truce until May. I can wait for another month. That's fine. That is surely fine. I can wait a month for the truce to disappear. You will gain nothing from Ladium. Okay, there we go. That should be the truce gone. It was. I'm gonna take Liguria from you. You are a disloyal subject. I probably need to do something about that. I need to increase those people's, these people like, opinion of me. Like that. Uh, do I potentially want to go and kill this dude? Yes, I do. I want to kill this guy. I would catch them and beat them heavily. Hopefully stack wave them. We didn't stack wave them. Too bad. Because you're using bottleneck, you can probably just go triple axis again. And I wanna 
decrease my fort maintenance. I don't want to waste four gold per month on man maintaining my forts when I don't need to. That's basically a waste of money, in my opinion. Is there anything with sieges? That's fort defense. Bountiful olives. Our many buka will go to find a large, massive olives unlike any ever seen before. The local priest declared the blessing of Minerva. Some say it's even a show of preference to the rest of the world. Our high priest suggests building a small shrine to celebrate the goddess. A small one costing 600 bloody gold. Holy Jesus. That's research. I'm basically paying for research. I can, I can pay for research. I have an incredible income. I, I can see why they say playing as a Rome in this game is so easy. Because it really feels like it is. It's easy to play as Rome. You're strong. But I think none of those people can compare to me, except when they're like in a in an alliance. Those people, of course, in this area of the world are very strong. Both in income and in strength of, of soldiers. Look at this guy. What are you spending your money on? Your army, because that army is effing huge. I think he's trying to take like down all of India in one go. And this revolt thing is still going on. I, I, like they can't be bothered to finish this off. Which is actually kind of interesting. Okay, they're fighting my ally. I don't care. Um, I managed. No, 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 no. Uh, I didn't want you. I managed to do that by mistake. Uh, bloody hell. That's not what I meant to do. I wasted the hundred gold. <laughs> Just by double clicking by mistake. Bloody hell. That's not the first time I've done things like this that either. I'm, like I'm telling you, that's not the first time I've done things such as that one. It's stupid, I know. But sometimes those, those things happen. So we could increase this by training. How much does training cost? Training. We're receiving training. If I look at my other one down here. Where is training? You need a commander if you want to drill. Monthly experience gain. So if I go for a loyal one, the useless one, he's more better though as a person. He's loyal. And I want you to drill the army. I can pay for it, I have the money. The Cornelii are unhappy for some reason. Interesting. So how's the family looking then? Who are too many of you? You have too many Junii. Junii, like this guy, want the Cornelii. He's actually better. So that actually made sense. Martial advances. Thank you. Man, my back is killing me. I'm, I'm getting old, guys. That's basically what's happening. I'm getting old. I am not even old, but I'm feeling old and it's feeling terrible. We can get an extra import here in Roma. Something, something for the junglings. That's Egypt. That's, that seems fake. You're not getting my food, people. I want to keep my food. I can go for... I don't want the extra population. Uh, well, I, I guess I want the extra population, but I don't want too much population. Because I feel like too much population is a bad thing. That's why I'm thinking about those things. My manpower is immense. It's maxed out. Yeah, it's maxed out. It surely is. 
How is this mission looking? Yeah, because I, I want Liguria, that's why. Okay, so for this thing to happen, I need people to have a better... Messenia is done with the Civil War. Where is Messenia? Messenia. Who? This guy. He seriously only has two single provinces. I think, I guess he's neighboring me and that's sort of important, but still, no. How's the innovations looking at? Discipline plus five is not bad. Yeah. Veteran enticement. Encouraging retired soldiers to sign up to serve once more will greatly increase the fighting experience of our armies, making my soldiers bloody invincible. I'm telling you, I think like those guys' discipline should be incredible. Where can I see the discipline? I guess it's not really possible. Because you're dead. You can have some marble if you want to. You cannot get my grain though. Or my salt. Splendid. I gain stability. Because that's something I do need. Do you mind? Do you mind, people? You just make sure this bloody siege is done. I hate it when it stops on 49% and it's like rolls like this. Because it get it can't get any higher than 49%. Which is terrible. So, yeah. You serious, mate? Come on. You can do it. I know you can. You can. There we go. Thank you. Now, I want to take this guy down. As well as this place. I am just going to go for that thing, because that seems reasonable. You go to Genoa. How is the food looking? It's looking fine. You are the governor of Sif's Alpine Gaul. You're feeling happy? If you feel happy, I feel happy. Hmm. Manpower wouldn't be a bad thing, but I have a lot of manpower. Manpower is not my issue. I probably need to spend some money on building things here. Where is the capital? Is that my capital? No, it has a shrine thing there. Segista is the capital. I see. That's interesting. I would prefer to go on something like... This one wouldn't be bad. Um. Hmm. I wonder. Pop conversion speed. The practice of integrating foreign beliefs into the pantheistic structure of the Roman religion made it much easier to assimilate the trustful foreigners into the Republic. That seems reasonable. How's the culture of things looking, by the way? If we go for first religion. Which I obviously can't see anything about. But if we look for the culture then. How is things looking? Yeah, that's the Romans. The Italic group. Hmm. I feel like there's a lot of things to learn here. And I would like some help to learn how to deal with this integration things because I'm not I don't really know how it works how it works and I would like to know how does integration work in this game and because uh, I, I knew how integration worked in U4 and I would like to know how it works in this thing as Rome as Roma Rome has grown of once once vitally important permanent allies in Italy known as the Susi Susii have become increasingly less important. 
their diminishing significance has not been lost on them. With privileges and attention they formerly had uh, received falling into decline. They are particularly irritated by the what they see as the en encroachment of our citizens into their lands who they claim are settling unlawfully. Thus they accuse us of favoring newly conquered people and citizens while disfranchising our own old and loyal allies which are, who are not classified. Ouch. They do not like me. They surely do not like me at all. Um, yeah. That hurt. That hurt a lot. Like seriously, that did hurt. If you don't want mind, you can do some drilling just to keep the experience up. Try and get this military tradition up as well. Because it does increase if I have higher experience. I feel like that's something I should have noticed earlier. This military tradition is not a bad thing. I would like siege engineers as well as scaled walls. There's a lot of good things. Probably should I suggest that one. Hmm. Yeah, I think so. Because it, the thing with Veneto is they're very strong. They're a strong dude. I would like to take this guy down. You are in the defensive league with those people. Who has a few courts. But I feel like I could very hit claim on you. I feel like that's a good thing to do. Why? Because I do. If I tried to bribe you, how much would I gain from that? 25. And for a second I thought he had like sunglasses on. I was like, are you serious? Why is he wearing sunglasses? But he wasn't wearing sunglasses. <laughs> uh, that's why you need to look at pictures sometimes twice. Those people are strong. As well, they have a lot of cohorts, not a lot of manpower. There's a lot of people wanting salt from... From Roma, Latium. How's the salt looking? Okay, that's why. I could actually give one away. I see. I guess that's something we should do then. Not food though. I just had a sip of water. I'm, I'm worrying about phrase. Because I feel like phrase is a big issue. Further down the line, it's a bigger issue than Carthage. The only issue I have with Carthage is not the troops, it's the navy. And I have a sizable enough from the navy myself. Uh, the council has cancer. How terrible! It's not. It's not that great. But uh, yeah, navy attrition would not be a bad thing. Top migration speed. Hmm. I would like some assimilation. Colony Isle. Hmm. Experience decay would be a good thing. So active drill. Armies in the field will benefit from continued drill even up to the very eve of battle. I can say yes to that. We did drill a lot when I was back in the military. Drilling is the key to everything, so you can learn how to do things. You can make sure you remember how to do things. You need to have those things in your spine. No, I, I was supposed to yes that thing. You want to have everything you should do in the military. It should be in your spine, as I said. So make sure where those things happen. Like if you are ever in a situation where you're in danger, things should come naturally to you. For example, if I was shot at, I would I would know exactly what to do. Still now, because it's still impacted into my spine. That's the reason why I don't like it when people like fire fireworks outside of my host, because I react like fireworks sounds a lot like like gun gunshots until you hear like sparkling at the end. But like the explosion itself sounds a lot sounds a lot like a fire like a rifle, and uh, and I I feel tense, extremely tense when I hear that those things happening. I would rather have the loyalty, I think. 
than the money. Um, so I feel really tense and I feel like I'm going to react the way I would if there were real gunfire, which would be to drop to the ground and get into safety. Which is the first thing you should do. If someone is shooting at you, the first thing you should do is drop to the, to the ground. That's the, that, that's the first thing you're supposed to do. If someone is shooting, smash your head into, into the ground. And then you have to like, basically crawl to safety. Somewhere you can be behind coverage or something like that. Because you never know if you're going to get attacked by something. That's bad. That's a lot of barbarians. And they have a lot of cad. And that's when you finally then can focus on attacking back. That's it's when you have got into cover. When you're finally in cover, you can focus on, as I said, trying to fire back at your opponent. Before then, you just get into cover. Because you don't want to get into... You always need to be careful. Because gunshots is... Guns are not a toy. You can get very hurt. I used to pay for replacing the slot pile, I think. So you need to focus on your safety first and foremost. That's usually the thing I would focus on myself. We have a claim on you, meaning I can finally go and kill you. How's the wine looking like? Wine. We have extra wine. You can have it then. And increase my economy even more than it's currently the fact. Okay, those guys are probably a bit concerned about the, those barbarians. And I can understand because I am concerned about those barbarians. I want to do something about them. Leave my food alone, please. I think you would be able to beat them, potentially, because they have a lot of good troops. Or maybe not. I would probably be able to beat them, right? Because I have better troops. The thing is, I don't know what sort of tactic they're using. You think, like, hit and run would be a normal thing to do against if you have a lot of cab hit and run would make sense right in my mind it would make sense at least um, yeah keep on drilling for now so we could potentially take care of those guys if they do right right where i live give me some more money i could buy something else what sort of thing hmm. this one would be good gradual econo economic integration demanding full tax and tribute from conquered lands is only likely to cause civil unrest Instead, we should ease them into a full tight uh, gradually and get some lessened aggressive expansion growth. I don't have aggressive expansion right now. That wouldn't be a bad thing if I try to attack someone in the future. How's your disloyalty looking? He's looking fine. And he's a minor character as well. And he's loyal. Yeah, he is. So that's going to keep get their experience up. It's going to increase my military experience as well. By a lot, actually. So that's great. I missed that thing. If they got into a fight with you, I could potentially get into a fight with them when those guys have finished with them. Meaning I could kill them. When I, what I want to do, though, is probably kill those guys. What are you doing? Are you stupid, mate? Why would you send... Yeah, he, he ate you up. He ate those that two stuck at, up. He just smashed them. Mmm. That was, that was tasty. I just ate you up. Leave my grain alone, please. I'm a bit scared about those barbarians, actually. What's Alea doing up here? What's Alea doing up here? Are you trying to help him? Or are you like allies or something? No, you're not. Like, why are you helping him? That doesn't make sense. Right? That is peculiar. He's a bit scared. He doesn't want to attack. Those people are just going to get smashed. Yeah, they did. 
They got smashed. Now he's moving in. This will be exciting to see. Okay, so... For some reason, I can't watch the fight. Okay, he lost heavily. Um, that's actually a bit scary. What's good against hit and run? Um, what's good against hit and run? Cavalry skirmish. That could be a thing they would be using as well. This would be good against hit and run, but not against cavalry skirmish. They have a lot of cavalry, but they also do have a lot of... I could pay them off. That's a shit ton of money to pay a man to leave me alone. Okay, you're not inside my borders, that's part of the reason. I think we could potentially beat him though. You would think. Not right now, but in the future. What else can I go for? Hmm. Pop promotion. No, pop migration. Colonai. The Roman colonization of Britain was a classic example of the practice that had been employed by the Greeks in the conquest of Persian Egypt. Granting land to soldiers and their families act as a standing garrison in recently conquered territories. Of course, when you have finished your 25 years, when you when you became a Roman legionnaire, you basically signed up for 20, for like a contract of 25 years as a legionnaire. And when you were done, you got your like state pension, which means you get it. You would for free gain a bit of land. Okay, that's it. You're getting out. Those people are getting out. I think though, triple asses is not the thing I should go for. The thing is, I don't know what they would use. I don't, what's the that middle troop? With the wagon wheel. I don't even know what those six troops are. I, I go for my normal strategy. I think that's the thing to go for. Hopefully this, this doesn't go to shits. Yeah, they decrease the civilization value by a shit ton. And this guy is... He's terrible. He's so bad. Why do I have such a bad commander? Okay, you're unhappy. The Claudia IP, because I replaced your guy. I, I can see why you would be unhappy about that, but I can, I can get him back if you want to. Um, I want to look at the technology. He's a uh, Claudi. This guy is a minor character. How good is he? he he's seven on the scene. I need a Claudi. That's a bit worse, but I still think it's reasonable enough. We got to find out if we're going to win this. We it's very likely, okay. That's good. It's just my allies being so bad at fighting, I see. Apparently, which is the reason. Can I pay you off now? Would you mind? Cuz I just beat you. I beat your ass. They want a shit ton of money to leave. I'm not scared of them. That That's like the thing. I'm not scared. They can go away if they want to. I'm going to, I'm, I, I'm just going to kill them. Because this is my ally. And I'm helping my ally. Yeah, I beat them up. Again. Go to hell, people. Go to hell. Leave my land alone. Those people never learn. Okay, I killed their archers. That's good to know. But I couldn't catch him. And those people can't fight. They could fight. They won. I see. Um, you 
get you can siege that down that guy if you want to. You can't siege me down though. Are you serious, mate? Like, what's the civilization value? It's zero. You having fun? Okay, go away now. Like, I have beaten them. If you would think it would be easy to make them go away. Yeah, there we go. Finally. That took a while. That was annoying. That was incredibly annoying. Bloody barbarians. Wasn't it enough for you to burn down Rome in real life? You have to savage me like 600 years too early as well. That is... That's not what I want. That is annoying. Drill the army again. I want to keep, get this military experience up. And I'm going to take a break here, guys. We didn't do like any conquering in this episode. But I'm... I'm playing the waiting game a bit. I'm building tall, not wide at this moment in time, I think. Uh, I'm trying to get my military experience up, as I said before. I think there's some things I could try and build. Like increase my science and things. Wouldn't it be a bad thing, you would think, right? I think that's the focus of the future. But now I'm going to take a break here. So if you have enjoyed, make sure to like this video. Smash that button down below. I would very much appreciate it. Also make sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. So you don't miss out on any future Imperial to Rome content. And also leave a comment down below because I do need your help to not forget about things. And learn new things. and Just any sort of comment that you want to give me. And don't forget to check my, out my Twitter if I ever put something out there. I do some sometimes. You can follow me. I would appreciate it. But that's everything, guys. So see you soon. Take care.